Welcome to Blitz. Uh, this is my new CTM map in the works. I'm going to just uh, go through a quick introduction to the map um, for this episode, uh, video. And um, yeah, this is a work in progress. I'm currently working on early stages of Intersection 2. So yeah, it's not going to be re released for a while, but I just kind of want to put this video out there just to show that I am working on a CTM map, not just fapping around with um, other stuff. So yeah, here's a map overview and Come on, work. It's weird. <laughs> uh, okay, um, hmm. Eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I know that that map overview is outdated anyway. So, anyway, the the what I'm going for in this map is basically a map made for speedrunners, almost. It's a really quick map that um, you'll complete really fast, but it, it's uh, really difficult, or it will be. <laughs> um, right now, it's not as difficult as I want to, so I know that everything, even the things I'm going to go over in this video, are subject to change. So, yeah, press to start. Ooh, I got an ender pro. Wow! <laughs> yeah. And you get instantly dropped into this um, sketchy situation. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of just to give a quick introduction. I'm not sure if you can throw ender pearls through cobweb, so I'm just not going to risk it. Pretty sure you can't, but, can't, but, um, yeah. To get through that cobweb, you can throw the ender pearl, and you get your BFF. <laughs> this is basically a weapon that you'll be using throughout in section one, basically to do miscellaneous um, awesomeness. And here's some, you know, food and torches, the must-haves. And here we are at the first, you know, uh, area. So what you get this flint and steel for is creeper annihilation. So. That creeper should have exploded this trap, or I mean this spawner, but I think I'll just light it up for now. So yeah, there will be a lot of creeper spawners in this map in particular, because uh, one thing I'm limiting in this map is wood. There will be no wood in the entire map, which is almost like unheard of in CTM maps to completely limit wood, or completely like take wood out of the entire map, because wood is made, yeah, it's used for like everything, right? So how can you not give the player wood? There's like no pickaxes, no make, no sword crafting, no, yeah, tools basically <laughs> that you can craft. And this keeps activating without me wanting it to. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. So you you fall down there and you uh, you're saved. But this is how it's supposed to look when you actually walk over it. So yeah, it looks like a just a floor, but sometimes it spazzes out. It's not really a um. Um, very consistent trap, but anyway, I hope you like traps, so you'll be walking along here, and you'll be trapped, and you'll be get saved, because I'm a nice guy. Yeah, JK, I'm not that mean. Wouldn't be mean enough to make a set block trap like that. But, um, yeah, that's just to keep your, the player on edge, and, um, all that stuff. So TNT is another, um, key aspect of this map you'll be using a lot. And um, you get a lever, some levers and some TNTs. And le levers aren't just for TNT, of course. Um, you can use the le levers to do this kind of thing. You'll see that those spawners, uh, that block is hooked up to some redstone lamps. You can flick that on and it helps prevent the spawns, but I know it doesn't completely prevent um, the spawning of those guys. But um, yeah, it should help with lighting up those spawners in particular because I want the players to um, farm these uh, zombie spawners because they they have leather drops. They don't know, they don't just drop their le leather armor, they also drop pieces of leather. Uh, did I get any? No. So I was a bit unlucky on that, but those zombies are geared with a leather piece. There's animated... Um, let's see. Let's just take care of this first. You can, use, you can use your BFF also to light off TNT, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, a flint and steel like this is um, your BFF in this kind of map, so... Yeah, that's what I was going for. So you see that that zombie has a... He has invisibility and boots, like le leather boots. And then you'll find these helmet guys, which are just um, floating helmets, basically. <laughs> Ropey spawner, come on, dang it. Die, 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 die. Um, just gonna wait for another creeper to spawn so we can actually 
load these guys up as well as the creeper spawner. There we go. Didn't blow up the spawner, but I can use this guy. So yeah, the um, what I'm going for in this map is this kind of strategic gameplay of like using creepers with a flint and steel. And you'll notice that there are no natural spawns so far. Like everything you've seen spawned came from spawners. And that's because I'm experimenting with this new with um with with an idea of just completely getting rid of natural spawns using the game rule do natural spawns of course. And um, hey, come on. So yeah, you won't see any natural spawns, which basically is um, well, it means I can be even more harsh with limiting supplies, and also means that well, witch, uh, witch, uh, witches won't spawn, and witches can drop sticks, which I don't want because I'm completely w limiting wood. Ah! Whoa! Run, 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 sprint! Sprint! Dang it, stupid. Yeah. So yeah, also with this map, I'm really trying to make it high-risk gameplay, but low risk in terms of like your gear and crap like I want you to be able to die easily but not care that much about dying and I want the mobs themselves to die quickly but kill you quickly kind of thing so that's what I'm going for in terms of balance and gameplay in this map so it's a quick speed run map kind of kind of thing you'll see that I'm already at the white wall which would normally be like a lot longer to get to from the start of the map but in this map, it's kind of just like right there already. So super fast to get if you uh, just run over to it. I'm just going to ignore the spider spawners because I've already spawned. Uh, creeper spawned. Let me just uh, do this. Yeah, BFF. The name really describes why I give it to you. And you want to keep a lot of the things you uh, get from drops because there are tons of villagers to trade uh, your crap drops in for some useful items. And cobblestone is also a huge resource in this map because you it's basically everywhere, but you can't mine it with like a with a pickaxe or anything because there's no pickaxe and pickaxes, pickaxes or any way to get a pickaxe in the, in the entire map. So what you basically have to do is um, mine using creepers. So that's another reason why I give out a flint and steel at the very beginning, so that you can like, mine using creepers. So, yeah, that's another part of this map I should uh, talk about. Ba -ba -ba. And I guess the lapis block on top of these uh, spawners could be used in the new 1.8 um, enchanting system. I might change that block if it becomes something like an issue or whatever, but yeah, I think it's fine. Why is the smoke all the way down? Oh wait, this is dark stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's the first area. That's a white wool area. I think it's called intro, like in Storm the Castles. But uh, here we are at intersection one. Get out of here. Who do you think you're sneaking up on? Shoot. And um, yeah, this is pretty much how I think I'll just decorate this intersection. Not sure if I might add anything later. But here is the smuggler, which trades like uh, useful food trades with rotten flesh that you don't want and also spider eyes. So yeah, you can farm all these materials and um, trade for all these things that you would use wood for. Like instead of being able to craft a stone sword, you just give him a bunch of cobblestone more than you would have used in, in a crafting of a stone sword. But you, uh, that that's extra prices to make up for the wood that you would have needed to use. And then there's a, some, a way to get torches with that wood and chests and this is an impossible trade to avoid that villager issue so uh, yeah I give you give you a nice free base and the, the I like um, how this grass is uh, a is it is like a luck based source of initial food like it is possible to break all the grass and not get a single seed out of it but it's it's likely that you'll get a seed so I like that kind of luck aspect. Like if you're a really unlucky player, you'll get screwed over by not being able to have a seed. So that's kind of fun. There's some free stoof in these chests. But um, yeah, I think I'll not uh, actually go into any of these areas. I think I'll just talk about them. And I've also started adding uh, descriptive um, decorations above the 
the areas. So yeah, you'll you notice that there's a uh, mossy cobblestone and end stone there, which means that there's going to be a lot of those blocks in that area. You can already see a bunch of end stone. And in there is just going to be cracked stone, bricks, and bedrock. And the bedrock is actually indicating something else, but um, yeah, there's signs that's, that uh, describe the area difficulties in compared, compared to like other areas. So easy, medium, hard, like in Storm the Castles. And then here's the names. So that was intro. This way is wither turret. This way is Flame Wave. I finished all these areas, by the way. Well, um, finished for now. I might go back to decorate later or something. And here's Abandoned. Alright. So I think I actually do want to go through Wither Turret, because it is a pretty hilarious area. So I'll grab some, some of these supplies that I know are in here. There's some coal that I don't really need right now. Um, I think I'm fine with food for now. Might might uh, run out of it. Well, I'm in there, but I don't really care. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bread. Uh, nice. Want that. Ender chest, of course. Because it's a base. And instead of the stained glass portals, I'm using uh, carpet for the, this map. It's kind of just an arbitrary ar arbitrary choice. I don't know. I might change it back because I really like the um, stained glass portals. I might actually do both. Like, have the carpet and then the portal around the carpet. That would be um, doubling up on that. Anyway. So this will, this is heading into Wither Turret. You'll see why it's called that in a minute, if I can get there. Um, yeah, there's an introductory cave as always. So um, yeah, most of the areas in this map will look similar to this. Well, it has so far. I'm I'm trying to change looks and stuff from just this kind of plain stone uh, area. Uh oh. I forgot, I, um, there's a stone sword, and there's actually some armor I should have gotten. Eh, are you guys gonna burn to death now? Alright, I should have had a stone sword now, and I should have put this wool away. Um, but I'll, I'll be able to take these guys, eventually. And then I can take out the spawner by blowing it up. Or just lighting it up. Because you can't, you basically can't mine spawners. Well, you can by just punching them for like a minute, but um, because of the lack of a pickaxe, it's kind of necessary to take out spawners with secondary means like uh, lighting it up or blowing it up. So I kind of like that. I, I like uh, the, the being forced to do these kind of weird spawner destruction activities instead of the normal, um, you know, mine it up. So it's a unique gameplay mechanic, I would say, and there should be some okay yeah there's free sword i guess that's nice for torches and yeah i'm really limiting these torches like to have only 24 torches for this entire map so far it's kind of crazy but considering there's no natural spawns it's, it's um you get plenty pl plenty of torches you basically only use torches to light up spawners so if you just ignore these dark patches like this because there's not going to be any natural spawns there then you shouldn't have a torch issue but, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, ah, that was bad. Okay. I'm trying to get a creeper to uh, blow up that zombie spawn in the middle, because that one gets pretty annoying. So, um, yeah. Oh, no, that wasn't that great. But I have a sword and I have TNT. I'll just blow this up. Oops. Come on, place. Actually, now that that's there. Oops. Got him. Oh, that was close. Okay. Um, let's just blow it up, I guess. It's getting getting annoying. So. And then the, the creeper spawners I can just blow up with creepers. There's a free helmet. And there's a very damaged anvil. Because I don't want to give out a full anvil yet. Because that will be um, too nice. Yeah, I'm tr trying to be mean with loots. Uh, for once in this map. <laughs> As I say that, chain legs. Okay. So yeah, I'm trying to be extremely limiting in terms of loot, like I haven't been with Storm the Castles. And uh, the, the zombie spawner, I'll probably just light up. And there is attack damage attribute on this uh, flint and steel, so uh, I am actually doing damage by smacking them. But most of its use comes out of its actual flint and steel uses. 
And as you can see, a Wither Boss spawned. Uh, the spawner is down there. It's kind of unavoidable to uh, get to this, to get through this area without spawning the Wither Boss. And that's why the the, na the area name is Wither Turret. So yeah, I really like this concept of uh, just a Wither Boss spawned in the middle of a room there. And you can see that it's uh, surrounded in void. And what you basically have to do is go around it and just avoid getting hit. So it's like a turret basically shooting at you. And there are also spawners along the side here. So it's not like the Wither Boss is the only threat in this room. But he should he should be um, attacking me any second now. Like it may, sometimes it takes him a while to notice you. And he, he always shoots those random blue skulls around anyway, so... You might get hit, hit by one of those. Usually he shoots at me by now. I think he spawned, or he's moved. Oh, there he is. You know when he sees you, when, it, when it, the heads turn in your direction. And it usually stays on you for a while, but it's really unpredictable sometimes. I experimented with um, all kinds of layouts for the bedrock surrounding him. And this one seems to be the best the best layout that keeps him inside there, but also allows him to shoot you. So as far as I know, that's the best way to orient him and have him in that little thing. So you get the orange wall out of here, and you'll notice I'm actually using fleecy boxes instead of uh, fleecy mobs in this map, just because of the the um, map kind of style. Although I might change over to fleecy mobs like later in the map, and maybe do a couple fleecy mobs later, because those are all, always a good mechanic. There's a bunch of there's like four loot chests near the middle there to kind of uh, give reward for risk. So it re rewards you for going in the middle there to get close close to the wither boss. And um, yeah, I, li I like that, to be able to reward the player for taking the risky path, basically. There are, there are really good stuff in those chests. So yeah, if you want to risk going so close to the wither boss, which he does own you if you get hit by him, especially with no armor on. But um, yeah, and you also don't get a bow at this point on the map. Because I'm limiting wood completely, you basically don't get a bow until I give it to you, or unless you unless you get really lucky on a skeleton drop, it's always possible to get a bow off of that. But I wouldn't expect you to use it to actually like kill that wither boss, because you don't have like any arrows as well. So, so yeah, I, I like that wither boss um, turret basically. And uh, yeah, that's wither turret. It was a really quick area, just like the first one. And just like every other area in this map, real quick, real um, simple, but can be deadly easily if you mess up. <laughs> That's what I'm really going for in this map, is a quick deadliness and quick um, gameplay, basically. That's, uh, yeah. So this has been Blitz. I'm pretty sure I don't want to show any <laughs> anything more yet. Might show the next area in another episode or something. Maybe I might do later. But, um, yeah, this is the work in progress I'm working on for my next CTM map. I uh, definitely look forward to when I finish this map and uh, release this. Because, yeah, it shouldn't take too long to build because of the style of building I'm going for. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.